to Rara's Adventures. Today we are visiting Marwell Zoo. Today is a little different as we have been given permission to do a vlog but it's from our own personal view. Today I'm with my hubby and it's his first time filming but he's been learning how to use the camera using the garden to learn focus and moving around in the garden so hopefully we won't have no mess ups. I'm really looking forward to doing a vlog here at Marwell Zoo as I came here as a child and I remember parts but not everything so I think this is going to be really good fun. Marwell Zoo is owned by the renowned action orientated charity Marwell Wildlife. We drove here today but you can also get a coach or a bus which is available on their website and I'll leave a link below. While we are here, we'll be looking at things like parking, toilets, visual aids, touch, accessibility and things they have added or adapted to help people come and visit. So come on, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hi, so as soon as you've paid your tickets, you go for a little, literally three minute walk and you come up to your first picnic area and there are toilets which if you've been watching my vlogs you'll know that is always my first protocol are the toilets um, and before we go on we just wanted to read a little bit about COVID-19 and what is being put in place at this time so as we can see they have put in place things for COVID-19 which we'll have a talk about but first thing is that you have to wear face coverings while in the closed areas, not in the open areas, and also in the shops. Unless you have an exemption card, one of these, which I've got the links for on my website and I will leave a link down below. There is also a one-way system that's been put in place and extra hand sanitizers. They're literally dotted everywhere, which is brilliant. They are not giving talks at the moment, and they are also not running the road train or the rail train uh, to keep the public and the members of staff safe. So please bear this in mind if this was something that you were considering to get around the park. They are also not offering experiences for the same reasons again. I will leave a link to the website where you can find this information out before you go. As we all know, things keep changing, so week by week it might all change, so it's definitely worth checking before you visit. But there are still loads of things to go and see and do, so no more talking and let's go and explore. Let's go! So our first stop is at the Giraffe House and um, they are in and out, we're trying to catch them behind us but animals are unpredictable as we all know. So this is so cool, I'm really excited. Um, these gentle giants are amazing. Did you know that a giraffe only has seven bones in their neck which is the same as humans and mammals? Giraffe's neck is designed so they can eat food like leaves so they're away from their rivals. Their tongue is 45 centimetres long. A tongue this size, they're able to wash their nose and their eyes. I'd love to be able to do that. If you're a big fan of these gentle giants, you can also adopt one. And you can find that in the link below, which will take you to our website, or you can do it here whilst you're visiting. Giraffe shares its home with the llamas of Llama Loop. They are also close to the mountain bongos and their spe spectacular antelopes, as well as forest buffaloes and kudu. Okay, so let's carry on.
now come to the adults. Uh, they look so peaceful as you can see behind me. Both male and female have horns, but did you know that the male horns can grow up to 109 centimeters, but the females only grow up to 80 centimeters? Ducks can live in temperatures from minus 5 centigrade up to 60 centigrade. They are adapted to living in the heat. Their pale coats reflect the heat and their large hooves help with walking in sand by spreading their legs out. These guys are critically endangered, but they are here and they look really cool and happy. Hi guys, so we are at the Meerkats. Um, I love Meerkats and for some reason I always think they're bigger than what they actually are. They are not that big are they? No. Meerkats are brilliant. They are clever, they work as a team, whether that's gathering food, keeping guard or babysitting. I wonder if we can spot which one's keeping guard today. I think we found the one keeping guard. So we are now visiting the Amber Tigers. I am sorry but tigers are my all time favourite. I absolutely love them and I am so happy to be here right now. These guys are Amber Tigers as I just said but you can tell they are these type of tigers by their striking coats and reddish orange fur. Their freight belly and chest are typically white with the white and there is often a white spot on the back of their ears. The armor tiger is endangered and a male is 2.7 to 3.3 meters in size and a female is 2.4 to 2.75 in size. They can weigh for a male 180 to 306 kilograms and a female 100 to 167 kilograms. They can have one to six cubs and live up to 20 years old, which I think is pretty amazing. Each tiger has different stripe patterns, which can help identify whether they are male or female. It also helps researchers track them in the field. And did you know tigers rely on their stripes for camouflage when stalking and ambushing on their prey? So we are now going to take a break. We're going to take a lunch break. You are not going to notice, but we are taking lots and lots of stops. This is a larger place. The first time I've been to a larger place. So I have to keep stopping as I get in a lot of pain. So I keep topping up my medication. So we're going to go and have a bite to, bite to eat and then we'll be back with you showing you more of what's available and see. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye! So we are in the tropical house and it's quite toasty in here. And I have quoted this from their website as I wanted to give you the right information. Cotton the Hills of Wild Explorers is innovative and subsistence sustainable and sustainable exhibit marks the second phase of a 17 million investment program over the next eight to ten years creating improved habitats for animals and more immersive experiences for our guests spanning two levels with fantastic vantage points guests can experience face-to-face -face encounters with the diversity of wildlife and exotic plants in tropical climate while learning about the flow of the energy through life. So we are at the Fur, Feathers and Scales Park 
So this part we get to walk for an Avery and we thought you, we would take you through the Avery with oh, us. So people. come on, let's go see okay. what we can find. As you can see, it's all quite flat and easy to walk on and safe for wheelchairs, push chairs. So let's go see. Okay, that door's quite heavy, just to let you all know. Through the ropes. Oh, and through the door, which is over here, not over there. Oopsie! Okay. So. <laughs> ah, now. There are discovery boxes spreaded around each part of the park. But because of COVID, they are locked. So we don't know what's inside them. So if you visit when they're open, when COVID's over, let me know. I'm dying to know what's in there. It's very frustrating. Come on then, let's go find birds. Oh, before we go, there are some interactions. Mm, oh, yes. Interactions today with children and adults. I'm the biggest kid of them all. <laughs> Here you've got some plaques of all the different birds that are in this Avery. So we'll go and have a look, see what we can find. <laughs> Got a very pretty one there. Oh, oh check this one out. Oh, another one. Got ducks in the pond too. Aww. Oh. quite peaceful in here. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the Avery Walk. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the birdies with us and we'll go and see what else we can find. Bye! We are now about to go through to the cold-blooded corner. Not sure if I'm looking forward to this part to be honest, but we'll go out and find out and you can follow us around. Let's go. Help. Wow, he's bigger than what I first thought. 
So it's first shape. So we have just come out of the cold blooded corner. As I said at the beginning, we were going to walk you through with us, but it got very busy very quickly, so we decided to stop filming whilst we were in there. But we have taken lots of pictures that we'll share with you within the video and on the website. So now we're going to have a five, ten minute break, rest a minute, have a drink, and then we'll be back. to the end of our day and we thought it would be appropriate to stand in front of the sloth because that is how I am feeling right now. I feel like a sloth. I am stiff, very tired, but do you know what? I've had a wicked day. It's been amazing. Lots of walking, lots and lots and lots of stops. Um, we try to get around everything and try and capture it for you guys. We did miss a few of the places. We just ran out of time. I was, I'm in a lot of pain right now, so we've had to leave it. But that's something for you guys to investigate. The Marwell House and the gardens, and there's a few others, I can't remember off the top of my mind, but it is an amazing place. You can spend all day here easily. Um, it's a shame that the land train wasn't working um, because it would have been nice to get on and off that to save a little bit of work walking but what can we do covid's in the way but it was brilliant it was a lovely day and i definitely recommend people come here it caters for most needs wheelchair friendly the ground isn't exactly perfectly flat but it is accessible for wheelchairs mobility scooters zimmer frames there are some bits that you might not be able to access but like i say the majority you can there are normally a lot of things to interact with again because of covid you're not able to interact as much but there's still so much to see and do so I would like to say a massive thank you to my hubby following me around for bugger. He did well, he's still alive, so always good. <laughs> there he is. Um, and thank you to everyone watching on YouTube for subscribing and following me and supporting me. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up and share um, and we look forward to following you no we don't we look forward to seeing you guys again very soon on the Rara's adventures and I hope that you'll follow me next time when we're out exploring so again thank you for being with us today and we look forward to seeing you soon take care goodbye we're going to get a nice coffee and relax. Bye. Whoop, whoop. <laughs>